All right, it's time to get into WWF SmackDown, October 14th, 1999. Oh, yes. Uh, usually this is the part where I read some stuff from The Observer, but we've done the entire month of October Observer-wise, so we got nothing there. So oh, wow. Sorry okay. about that. But, you know, that just gives us more time to talk about this lovely episode of SmackDown. 99, big year, October, big month, uh, Triple H, big World champion, <laughs> big snake, <laughs> big snake bite, big snake bitten man. A big That's ball in the for a... He got bit by a snake. Big. Snake face, <laughs> baby. All right, now it's time to get into the cold open here to kick the show off. Vince and Stephanie oh. are looking over some papers. Mm, I, see, I I had a a sudden thought when it went into the scene that it was going to be the scene from the gift that I always send you guys. No, I don't think we would just be doing that to kick off the show. Uh, <laughs> You're going to kick off the show and then in walks Mad Guy. You don't think they're going to have a little kiss? Big Boy walks in and just kissing on the couch. <laughs> All right. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be back. <laughs> well, you know what, James? Because of what Mick Foley does come in and say here, I actually wish that was happening instead. You're right, because Mick Foley <laughs> knocks on the door and comes in and says, I'm writing a book. Did you guys know about this book I'm writing? <laughs> yeah, I got a book coming on October 20th. You're all over it, Vince. I said, dude, this is the beginning of the end yeah, for this, Mick Foley. This yeah. stinks, man. I this hate the book era. Dude, nothing about the book. Uh, Mick is in the rock and sock jacket, which is always very cool. And You have uh, the figures of that. I do, because I, I really enjoy this, like the rocket it's, it sock good. stuff. Yeah. It's fun. Um, Mick tells Vince that it's time to repay the favor. Hmm. What? And Vince doesn't know what he's talking about. Well, repay the favor. Foley, Foley says, yeah, you know, repay the favor, favor I did last week. And this is, I don't remember you doing me a favor. And Foley says, come on. You remember I, when I was talking to you and you told me to leave you the hell alone and I did? <laughs> it's time to repay that. <laughs> I don't remember that. Yeah, that's good. I remember that one. It's probably every day of Mick Foley's life. <laughs> <laughs> so Mick says that he wants Rock and Sock back for one night only because The Rock brings in the young demographic and Mick Foley brings in the ladies. Ah, and ah, yes. what a better place to have the one night only of Rock and Sock then longtime Hall of Fame crowd of Birmingham, Alabama, baby. <laughs> Stand up, roll time. <laughs> roll time, motherfucker. So Vince says, yeah, that's fine, but I doubt The Rock really wants to do that shit. I mean, he's kind of killing it over there. You know, I don't know if he wants to come back and do this. Mick said, do you hear the pop we got last week? <laughs> uh, so Mick says, yeah, you will. Watch. I'll go get him right now and tell him. Uh, and then oh. Mick runs over to the table and steals a snack off the table, runs away, and says, I have work to do. <laughs> steals a candy bar and runs the away. The hell? And then, of course, we get everybody on the ground. That's not right. Everybody no. on the ground. This <laughs> man is selling crack. That's right. It's all I have. <laughs> I, there was definitely a lyric like that at one point that I read on a forum, I'm sure. Yeah, chana, it was Chana 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 Chana, 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 chana is the right lyrics. <laughs> That's true. Yeah, what was it? The one that was on the forums? It was something is selling crack it was Will or Smith doing crack. Is smoking it's, crack. Yeah, smoking crack. But, it, I, but I convinced what? myself listening to this that it was Vince McMahon is selling crack because it sounds like that, too. That's probably um, historically accurate as well. That's a yeah, that's the mark of a good song right there when you're telling the truth. <laughs> so they do, <laughs> they do they do the pyro into the zoom on the SmackDown oval screen. Uh, this shit is so cool every time. It gets me fired up. And Birmingham is packed out here. It might be sold. I think it is sold out here, and they're on I'm fire. Sure it is, yeah. Birmingham, Alabama, and a town for the WWF. It's time for the New Age Outlaws Town Hall. Oh, you didn't know. Who am I? <laughs> Dude, whenever you should I, do that on the mic. I agree. I agree. That should be its whole thing. Uh, but the New Age Outlaws come out here for the town hall. Whenever we're watching this era, there is a fucking 50 50 chance that the Outlaws are going to be the tag champions. And would you believe it? They are the tag champions right but now. But this, this entrance course, is unbelievably over. It is disgustingly over. They know every single word before he even says it, and he talks for like four straight minutes. Dude, he had, Dude, I used to know the right. whole thing, too, when I was a kid. Honestly, yeah, tell me, I probably there. still do. Like, <laughs> it's fucking crazy. Yeah, they do the whole shtick, except for the part where Billy Gunn says, and if you ain't down with that, uh, yes. because they have some business to attend to here tonight. So they are no. set to face the Holly Cousins at No Mercy. Yes. Um, and Billy Gunn says, well, tonight we might as well do an open challenge. Mm. But then Triple H comes out. Yeah, he, uh, he's very sad. He, uh, he comes out. He's wearing shirt, jeans. Snake face. <laughs> <laughs> Is that what Big. a poisonous rattlesnake does to your face? I, according to 1999 WWF, that is. He has a big, 
it's like just a fucking wound on his face. He looks like a bitch. <laughs> like, it like, fucking <laughs> bit him in the eye, around the eye. It bit him multiple times down the lips. side of his face. <laughs> yeah, he's, he's got he's coating. He's like rubbing shit off his lips the whole promo. Yeah, this is definitely how they thought Kane looked most of the time, but instead he just was a regular <laughs> bald guy. Yeah, dude. Even so, Triple H comes out here, and the the camera is on him coming down the ramp, but you can hear. On the cam, like on the camera, Road Dog talking in the ring, and he says his face is really fucked up. <laughs> <laughs> Triple H goes to the ring, grabs the mic, and uh, very somberly says, uh, "I promise I won't interrupt you guys ever again, because this is probably the last time I will see you guys." Asshole, <laughs> asshole. <laughs> Triple H responds to the guys, hey, "Don't worry about that, because this is probably the last time you'll see this asshole again." <laughs> Dude, they don't give a fuck. <laughs> they wanted to see him die. Yeah, Triple H says, this is the last time you'll ever see me. I'm finished. Yeah! I'm <laughs> yeah. Wow. That's fucking heat he right was, there. Yeah, That's is not exaggerating. That's exactly how it sounds. They were Triple H like that. The crowd's like, yeah, fuck you. <laughs> die, you bitch. Dude, the crowd they cheered. So fired up. Crowd cheers. Triple H says, yeah, thanks. I appreciate your support <laughs> for me giving you my life. <laughs> Boo! <laughs> Fuck you! <laughs> you bitch! Dude. This A plus acting for Triple H. He's getting to Hollywood after of that. Course, dude, he's about to fucking be uh, driving a bus something. in a movie. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what was he? He was Conan, right? <laughs> bowdy, bowdy, rowdy, rowdy. <laughs> Yeah, that's right. Yeah, for the Amazon. <laughs> what? Conan the Barbarian? <laughs> yeah, that's right. No, he wasn't. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Peel my potatoes, toss my salad. He always wanted to be Conan. <laughs> Nah, for what? real. <laughs> Dude, on commentary, Cole and Lawler, I guess so. Okay, so the snake bite happens on Raw at the end of Raw. Kind and I of? guess Mike, yeah, like it's shown on the show, but like <laughs> no one but the viewer saw it because Cole and Lawler are both like, what the fuck happened to this guy? He's, and Cole's like, oh, that's disgusting. <laughs> he looked like a freak. Yeah. <laughs> but, so they, they don't know what happened. I don't they know. They save these lines for Kane later. But like this show airs <laughs> this show like Monday is raw. This is Thursday. So like you're telling me that nobody told Cole or Lawler that Triple H got bitten by a fucking big ass five foot rattlesnake in a week. He didn't see him backstage either. No, nobody he, he, no he probably didn't show up at call. <laughs> yeah, maybe you're right. <laughs> yeah, no, I notes. can't imagine anyone likes this guy. Well, I would be around him. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's true. Um, yeah, so Triple H says he wants Vince to come out because he wants to see, wants him to see what has happened to his fucking face, face to face. Look at me. Look at me. And Vince comes out, and I, I, Vince just looks at him. <laughs> like Vince just looks at him. That's crazy. Dude, Vince, I don't think Vince has like one word. He's like so quiet. And it's weird that even when they call him Vince, they're not calling him Mr. McMahon. They're calling him Vince. Well, he's, he's he's a, a, as a face, he's Vince. As a heel, he's I Mr. Know. McMahon. It's just weird. It's weird yeah. for them to call him Vince, though. It just seems so off. I love Vince comes out to his music, obviously, and then I, I we talked about it last time. I think we watched SmackDown, but the SmackDown nameplate coming in and going, Whoosh. I love that. It's so <laughs> loud. Whoosh. Yeah, me too. I, I I love it too. <laughs> yeah, but Vince gets in the ring and truly says, "Oh, oh you let this happen? <laughs> you let this business come to that point where people are bringing rattlesnakes, <laughs> poisonous <laughs> snakes." Into a building, and Cole says, "Oh, <laughs> oh, that what happened?" Yeah, Lawler said, "Did he get bit?" <laughs> no, no, he showed oh, up yeah, his ass. <laughs> Trish said, "Look at me! Come on, look at my face! This could be anybody." He said, "I've given you my body, and now I give you my face, and you could care less." He said, "Monday night, a rattlesnake, a five foot long, poisonous, deadly snake." Was brought into the building, <laughs> dude. And holy <laughs> shit, <laughs> that is crazy. <laughs> and I was put in a position where I had to be face to face with that snake, and it bit me in the face. You know, I want you to see that. Hold on, you got that clip back there. You got that clip. Put it on the Tron. Has anyone like, seen this footage? Look, look at it. <laughs> I guess no one. I guess has seen this. No one, no one. They were watching WCW. <laughs> I like the idea that this didn't happen on Raw, but they just said it did. They like forgot to film it, so they just filmed it afterwards oh, and my said, God. "Oh, you must have missed it." Yeah, if you tuned out it was like an overrun or something yeah what's even crazy if they didn't film it or they just didn't air it <laughs> yeah at all yeah they're yeah. like oh yeah well here it is I, this definitely happened <laughs> gaslighting <laughs> the entire audience yeah it's definitely happened you just fucking missed it and back I then yeah, I do remember yeah, back, then, back then what could you say it was 99 yeah. like yeah I guess I did miss it I'm not going to Raja.com to find it I'll just sit my yeah, ass DVR down and or something, you know? <laughs> yeah. so they show the clip on the Tron and to, I, I was talking about this with Tony when we figured to watch this episode. I don't, 
I swear we talked about this before, this happening. But I don't you and know. Might have. Have. Yeah, maybe. No, we have talked about it on the pod before because I swear, because uh, you brought it up before. I'm, I don't know what it was. It was probably talking about something else, but we did talk about like just in passing, I think. We never talked about the episode, but just like, hey, remember when you got bit by a snake? I was like, no. And then I think we talked about it. So the scene is Stone Cold beating Triple H's ass at the end of Raw. He's throwing him around here and he throws him into a locker room and Triple H is on the floor and he looks and there's like a doorway and then. A snake, <laughs> just a fucking that bitch is rattling ass too. Rattlesnake, but I, maybe because when I watched it as a kid, you know the TV quality wasn't as good, so I didn't notice. But it is plain as day that there is a gigantic glass, <laughs> like a piece of glass, right in front of this to block the two from each other. And I don't know how. Oh, is that I, right? Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. There's like refle- there's like reflections from the door frame, and then like even uh, you could kind of see like Triple H in the glass at one point. Yeah. So I, could, I like, thought that could have been either. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they, it's just glass in front of him. I was like, wow, this is way worse looking than I remember yeah, but, it. Yeah, my Mandela effect told me Triple H got bit in the face by a snake for real. <laughs> for real? Yeah, well, he was yeah. about that shit. He was about it, man. Whatever. Yeah, so Triple yeah. H says that, uh, you know, he got fucking bit by this rattlesnake and the camera cut for some reason. Show him get, I, Dude, it faced the black. It like shows a snake and then it... Austin turns off the lights and then it fades to black and oh, then you no! never see anything oh God, happen. No! <laughs> uh, so Triple H says, yeah, man, I quit. I can't do this shit no more. Look at me. And yeah, Triple H no. says, Vince. That's where you draw the line is this snake, not all the other terrible No, it's just this, Tony. It's, 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 yeah, there's a fucking beautiful snake. beautiful face. Yeah. It was at the zoo and Not like here. Jake the Snake Roberts existed back in the day, but all right. He had to fuck right. with him, man. You know what I mean? No. His ass they was doing, by the Oh, time. different era boom. Yeah, exactly, bro. Macho Man did this exact same angle. <laughs> Macho for, Man didn't quit like a pussy, though. Macho, yeah, Macho Man probably just went back to beat the shit out of him for real. <laughs> Stopped on his fucking you back. that fucking snake yeah. in there. His fucking retribution. I'm going to shit in your bed. <laughs> uh, Triple H says Vince screwed himself. And since he screwed himself, he's not fucking wrestling in the main event on Sunday. Oh, come on. Come oh, on, man. man. And he you says he will hand go, over dude, the belt. Fine to Steve Austin tonight, but he has to come in here and he has to look him face to fucking face and see what he did. See what he did to me. I, I look like a freak. And I'm going to personally put the bell in his hand because obviously it means more than life to Steve Austin so he can have it. <laughs> He's going to give the WWF title to Steve Austin via snake bite. Which is crazy. Is uh, not an insane way to sell a pay-per-view? Yeah, I'm, dude, I'm not going to be champion going to this pay-per-view This is the go-home too, Tony. <laughs> yeah, like, everyone's thinking there's a big match, Triple H and Stone Cold. The people say, oh, there's no championship match. I'm turning this show off. Oh, that'd be crazy if they just tuned it. out right there. Like, they well, did like a Triple yeah. H promo at the start and they said, ah, fuck all of this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they, oh, he's not, oh, they're pay, I'm not going to buy the pay-per-view either. He's not even going to yeah, be on whatever. the pay-per-view. All right, whatever. Well, they probably weren't worried about that, Tony, because they, regardless, Stone Cold was going to end the pay-per-view and people were tuning in. Yeah, his ass You're is right. going to be there yeah. either way. <laughs> yeah, as champ or not, Stone Cold was there and I'm tuning in. So we go backstage. Kane is walking down the hall and X-Pac is just getting to the building. <laughs> He's he's in a WWF polo. He's just showing up with his bag, and he says, "Oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, man. I, I gotta get my stuff, and I'll be back." And Kane turns around, looks down on him, and says, "Sean, stay out of this." <laughs> Dude, I was like, first off, Sean. yeah, dirty. I was, just, I did the same shit when he first said that to go back and listen. I was like, why did he say sock? I thought he was say sock Son. my balls. <laughs> He said, what was Sean. call time? <laughs> Where were call you? Call time was at noon, you bitch. Take your pictures. <laughs> Sean, I couldn't do our promo without you. The promoter is mad. <laughs> you ruined the VTR. <laughs> They're breaking us off. <laughs> <laughs> and Xbox Sean is not out. He said, "We're standing away. What? what are you talking about?" <laughs> that was so funny. He's a Sean. Stay out of this. Sean. Xbox didn't show up in fucking call time. So he said, "What are you talking about?" He says, Shoot name. He says, "Stay out of what?" <laughs> <laughs> Read the board, Sean. <laughs> Read the fucking email. I'm a I haven't gotten there yet. I haven't gotten there yet, bro. Holy I'm shit, you're fired, buddy. Sean, <laughs> you ruined our push. <laughs> They're sending me to Heartland Wrestling. 
We go to uh, Kane versus the Acolytes. This is what Kane was just talking about. Um, and yeah, yes. X-Pac has no way to get ready for this in time, right? So, no way. But uh, was he supposed to be here? Or is it always meant to be an Acolytes Kane handicap? Because I think it, it was always meant to be a handicap, and he's just staying out oh, of it. Sean, you know? don't fucking come out me. <laughs> no, I don't know, man. Xbox said, stay out of what? What are you talking about? Like, because I, I, yeah, yeah. I don't think he knew he was booked. Yeah, he's like, what the fuck? <laughs> I'm not on the card, bro. What are you talking about? Yeah, so Acolytes, Acolytes get a jobber entrance here, too, by the way. They're just in the ring. Yeah, well, I mean, you get to hear this shit later with Midian, so he gets the real entrance. That's right. It is the same song, isn't it? Different yeah. Tron, same song. That's based. So Kane versus the Acolytes handicap match. For some right. reason, Lillian Garcia says, I swear to God, she said, weighing in at 276 pounds. Steve, <laughs> I was like, this is not even close to Kane. You guys gotta go back and listen to it at some point. Did he say her, that? her ass no, did not say Kane. I'll tell you this. I go back. Yeah. I mean, we might have to I take a little that up right now. Yeah, I need to break you real quick because I, yeah. I need this in my life. Hold her on, ass dude. did not say Kane. I tell you that much. <laughs> I mean, his, you know, his first, day, his first day on a job. <laughs> she's just trying. It's not live. They can she's fix trying it. things. Like, she's trying shit. Yeah, let me know what you guys hear. She lost all the note cards. It's not okay right. to me. Oh, that's okay. Oh, that's okay. <laughs> oh my god. Where is it at? It's 1633. Like. <laughs> And their opponents. Okay. <laughs> Steve. Steve. <Huh? laughs> wow, we're really fucked here. <laughs> <laughs> they changed my name, Sean. <laughs> I'm just Steve. All you gotta do is shop at 1 p.m. <laughs> Dude, she says it like gay too. Steve! <laughs> what the hell is that? Yeah. That's you now, bitch. Dude, I was listening to that shit. I was like, I did, I've replayed that like 20 times. I was like, <laughs> I gotta be mis this. Steve! <laughs> Steve. <laughs> Sean! Sean! <laughs> 262 pounds. Steve. Holy oh, shit. <laughs> All right. I'm fucked. Dude. <laughs> Dude, yeah. They're repackaging me to Steve. <laughs> My push has fucked. Wow. <laughs> I can't be green now. <laughs> Yeah, dude, she said Steve, and like she was really going through it all night, man. She was struggling. The Terry Invitational Tournament really had her turned around too <laughs> oh, later that was on. Fucked up, yeah, that was yeah. a bad one. So, oh my uh, God. yeah, the acolytes jump Steve to start the match here. <laughs> this is a No Mercy video game match, by the way. You're right, Teddy. It, it, this is me getting pissed off like fucking crazy at <laughs> this dumbass match. Is No Mercy not based off this era? Like it right is. here? Aren't it is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it, but aren't No Mercy, they wearing jeans and shirt, though? APA? Oh, they are the Acolytes, isn't it? Oh, yeah, No Mercy comes in 01. I'm wrong. Yeah, that's right. They okay. use this logo. They do. From yeah, No yeah, Mercy. Yeah. yeah. Right, right. Oh, that's yeah, right. yeah, you're yeah, right, yeah. you're right. But yeah, this this <laughs> reminded me all the fucking Cotton Pat the Acolytes. The Damn. Acolytes attack Steve. <laughs> It'd be the shit out of him. It's my car. He's Kane, but his name is Steve. <laughs> it's just Kane. <laughs> <laughs> you couldn't have the name. I, I made this. <laughs> that's Kane in WCW. It's Steve. joining the Misfits match. Corporal <laughs> Steve. So Bradshaw goes over to the top. Farouk holds Kane. Kane breaks free, catches Bradshaw into a power slam. Uh, yeah. Farouk uses the stairs. Literally uses the stairs. The ref doesn't seem to mind too much here. Twice he use he he fucking hits Kane with them, and then Bradshaw Irish whips him in front of the ref into the stairs. I think it's no DQ. It's, it's I think it's no DQ. It is now sure, though because it's it's no DQ it's night, tornado. Tony. It's tornado <laughs> handicap match or something. Well, it was DQ know. against Kane, not against Steve. So no DQ <laughs> against Steve. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Well, when it was a tag match, there was DQs, but Xbox showed up like fucking Sean. <laughs> <laughs> so Kane with a double clothesline to come back in this one. Choke yeah. slam on Bradshaw, big boot on Farouk. Bradshaw then hits the fucking clothesline from hell on Kane. Dude, that was shit. awesome. He like Kane misses a splash. No, he gets big booted by Farouk in the corner. Fucking sells out to the middle. And Bradshaw is fucking bad out of hell hitting the ropes and takes his head off. Acolytes then hit a belly to back neck breaker combo here. 
3D. Um, <laughs> Brad saw that it's a fucking Dude. mean power bomb on Kane, man. He's making Kane pay for Xbox being late. He fucking stuffs him with his goddamn power bomb. <laughs> yeah, he was way nicer the second time around. He was probably like, shit, my bad. Yeah. That first with God. Sorry about that, brother. Because uh, they yeah, were well, super nice to each other in the beginning, like when they were first brawling and shit. And then that power yeah. bomb hit. And then the second one, he was like, I just put you down nice. I apologize about that one. <laughs> Yeah, he kicked out a two on the first one. Then they hit him with another one. Double stack and fuck him pin. And then they get the win over Steve. Uh, then X-Pac runs down with a chair after the match and fucking brains Bradshaw <laughs> big style. <laughs> the Aglites are stomping Steve out after the match. And, Barely. They're like... <laughs> like yeah, they, it's kind of gentle. They know when they get back to their ass is fucking done. <laughs> like, if there's one person on this show that's going to take shit for the Aglites, it's fucking seven foot tall, 500 Steve. pounds of muscle. Steve. <laughs> <laughs> and uh so xbox runs out with the chairs you said did not get ready by the way he told kane he was gonna get ready he did not get ready he's still in polo and jeans and he comes out and hits bradshaw f as hard as he can in the head with a chair <laughs> you're a lost cause <laughs> fuck you <laughs> you're bringing my career down don't show up at no mercy i'll fucking kill you <laughs> You're not riding with me, too. <laughs> you can ride with Al. My car doesn't run on French. <laughs> so I go backstage. Mick is looking for the fuck rock. You. <laughs> Tell him I said, fuck you. <laughs> we go backstage. Mick is looking for the rock. Um, and Stephen Richards pops out and he's dressed up as do love. Have mercy. Yeah, man. So, it, like, uh, you weren't here. You you were here when we talked about it. But Stephen Richards was also dressed up as like the mystery woman on that episode we watched. Um, uh, he to was help on, on, on Raw. Up here. Oh yeah. Well, the last time we watched this, Stevie fucking dressed up as China. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, we talked about it. Where like, as long as Stevie Richards agreed to dress up as different shit, they say like, you have a job here, man. Yeah, you'll be. We need somebody to do this. Oh right, Stevie's here. So Stevie Richard wants to face Val Venus because of what he did to Mick Foley, which was <laughs> use Mr. Rocco on Mick Foley. <laughs> well, he all, not just, uh, come on, James. He was stuffing Mr. Rocco down the, his fucking trunks and making it fucking, you know, marinate on his cock and balls. Dude, we get to talk about this fucking do later, and it is. It's unbelievable. Uh, it's egregious. Yeah. For many reasons. So Mick says that, well, first off, dude is a lover, not a fighter. And Val Venus would kill you, dude. <laughs> Which no one's ever said that to somebody before. Yeah. <laughs> Don't ever say that again, Mick. Go write your book. <laughs> Val Venus would kill you, man. He said, why do you want to do something like that? Stupid like that. And Stevie says, because Mick, you're my best friend. And Mick says, listen, you can be my friend, but not my best friend because I have one of those already. <laughs> and I'm looking for it right now. Rocky, rock. And he goes and leaves again. So we get a pre-tape. Michael Hayes is with Test, and he wants to know about Steph and the Bulldog and her amnesia. Just before that, by the way, I get real quick, because uh, they, they keep showing camera shots of the door backstage that Stone Cold is meant to be coming through. Sure. Right. But this one specifically, they show the shot. I guess they smartened them up later to not film the security booth, because there's two people in the security booth, and there's one very old lady who's not happy about being on camera, <laughs> just fucking death staring at this guy creeping in towards the security booth. <laughs> it's very funny. But yeah, Michael Hayes interviewing Tess, and he says, uh, you know, I know this is an extremely difficult test, uh, but I have to ask you, how are you able to deal with the situation with Stephanie and the bulldog? And Tess says, bulldog? Michael, I can't even freaking hear that name. We got a bit off. <laughs> yeah, he really puts his lips into that one. Freaking. But Stephanie doesn't want to be the cause of any violence, and, you know, what can I do? I just got to put her first no matter what. Uh, <laughs> he's, doesn't, you're, you're losing forever now. <laughs> you got to lose. Fuck you. Don't let him do this test. <laughs> So go, You're right, Steve. <laughs> we go backstage. Mick finally finds The Rock, who is talking on his cell phone, facing the corner like the Blair Witch Project. I don't know what's going on here. Dude, you missed an important fight here, bro. Oh, what I Chris, miss? Chris Jericho is fighting with Curtis Hughes. <laughs> oh, you're right. It, it showed it for like a second. Yeah, yeah you're it's right. Very brief, it was yeah. very brief. Yeah, Jericho's fighting with Curtis Hughes backstage. The refs come in and break it up, and Jericho says, I'll teach you respect. Should have never had you ride my coattails. Listen, man, there's a whole different history of wrestling if Chris Jericho just keeps Curtis Hughes employed here. There's like oh 400 wrestlers that don't exist that if that's the case. <laughs> you're right. Yeah, so we go back. Uh, Mick finds The Rock, uh, and he tells Rock that Vince wants them to team one <laughs> last time and it is an order from Vince that they team here tonight. It's a crazy he's like in a very empty room. His phone is plugged into the wall. <laughs> it's like, what's going on here? 
1999, you got to find some yeah, way to talk right. to somebody. He's probably fucking blacked out in that building. I bet he gets no signal in there. <laughs> yeah, right. Well, Rock says, let me get this right. Vince ordered The Rock to team up with you last time. Is that right? Well, he says, yeah, he thinks he's doing us a favor. He's giving us one last chance to say goodbye to the fans before you embark on a singles career. <laughs> and Rock says. 1999 Rock, by the way. Yeah, and Rock says, what are you, stupid? <laughs> <laughs> or something. He, the Rock is uh, not as nice as James is here. What he are said, you, yeah. dumb? Yeah, that's what I'm saying, man. What are you, not smart? So the only way to entertain the thought is, and Foley goes to say something, Rock says, shut your mouth, jabroni. Number one, it's Thursday night. It's The Rock show. And secondly, more important, if The Rock teams up with you tonight, it has to be the absolute last time. No more Rock and Sock. No more Rocco. No more Stealing the Rock's guy pages. You wanting to be like The Rock. No more of that. He said, last night, that's it. And Foley says, oh, you, you know, you, don't you want to know who we're teaming up against? And Rock comes back in the frame and says, yeah, sure, who? Foley says, we got a match against. And Rock says, it doesn't matter who we got a match against. <laughs> the Rock will lay the smack it down on Candy Ash Jabroni's back here. <laughs> Tonight's the last night. You smell what The Rock is cooking? Idiot. <laughs> 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 it's completely unnecessary. Yeah, are you an idiot or something? <laughs> so SmackDown is brought to you by Road Rash 64. Uh, oh my! 180 mile power to slap in the face anyone? No. All right. <laughs> you like that, Tony? You like that game? <laughs> that was a good game. Yeah, I don't know if I... now you go back and play. It's got so many polygons on it. It's Dude, hard to play. Polygons. Oh, Yo, you're an anti polygon okay. guy. Dude, N64 did not age well. I'll tell you that. Wow, controversial take here. Let Tony know. I tell you that. Yeah, let, let anybody out there like N64 get this guy. <laughs> yeah, fucking get him. Put him in a Nintendo 64 explosion machine. You can emulate it, upscale it, then it'll be good. That's oh better. my! Wow, AI generating Tony. <laughs> fucking this disgusting. An upscaler, three hundred dollars. <laughs> I paid three hundred dollars to upscale this fucking Road Rash 64. <laughs> he wants to play Road Rash 75, which I understand. The polygons are higher. <laughs> Yeah, Road Rash 65 was better, yeah. Exactly. SmackDown is brought to you by Road Rash 64, 1-800-COLLECT, mm. and Lego Mindstorms. Lego Mindstorms. <laughs> we had an entire class in high school dedicated to that Mindstorm shit, by the way. What? Really? Yeah, what so we had to, what we had to do was program robots that we, okay. we build the robots, and then we had to program them. Because that's the, the gimmick. It's like robots you control, right? That was the gimmick. Yeah, that's right. So you'd have yeah. to like build little code for it. And like, so we'd write out code what? and write programs to make it do shit and stuff like that. No way. Um, wow. Yeah, it was a pretty cool class. I spent that entire class playing RuneScape. These things still exist. <laughs> I was Dude, fishing for Story. lobbies. Come on, bro. Not Maple Story. Nah. Nah, not Maple Story. I was on RuneScape fishing for lobbies at Catherby. Where are my boys at, man? Dude, Where are the boys hat? at? Where's the party at? Yeah, you ain't P-hatting fishing at Catherby. I ain't trying to see that shit. For real. GP? Come on, man. Dude, they still have the Lego Mindstorms. Yeah, I here's bet the they do, man. I mean, because like, it's a pretty timeless thing to do. Um, yeah, here's the robot inventor code and control with visual and text-based coding. Wow. Dude, that's crazy. Now you just use your phone and program it. That's crazy. You can have yeah. chat GPT write you up a code that do this shit now. I could get a robot that yeah. can suck my dick. <laughs> <laughs> that's chat GPT. How do I code the robot? How do I code a robot that suck my cock? <laughs> oh, one oh, I'll tell you right here. <laughs> Copy this line and there you go. So we have Chris Jericho versus Curtis Hughes up next. Oh, yes. Chris Jericho with the girl Tron. It's a wrap. Based. Um, Jericho rushes shoes on the ramp here. <laughs> yeah. On Raw, uh, Curtis Hughes cost Jericho a match against The Rock. And then on Heat, oh Jericho deserted Curtis Hughes in a tag match. So there's fucking a lot of trauma here between these two. Howard Finkel then comes down to the ramp <laughs> wearing a Y2J shirt, girlfriend more... style. <laughs> <laughs> I was more confused of Curtis Hughes coming, how he came down the ramp with a pants full of doo doo, and then Jericho starts kicking his ass. <laughs> well, dude, he's got jumped backstage. <laughs> yeah, I guess you're right. His, his theme legs all is fucked all, up. His theme also sounded like an ECW WWE Network dub theme. <laughs> That's exactly what it sounded like to me. So Fink puts a chair on the apron here and distracts the ref. Right. Jericho then hits Hughes with a fucking headshot and wins the match. <laughs> Crazy An chair shot, dude. It's awesome. Annihilates him with a chair. Doesn't like try to dis like get rid of the chair or anything. It's just laying at his feet, and the referee comes over one, two, three. 
Lawler literally starts laughing yeah. on commentary. Yeah, yeah. He does. He's like, did the ref not see the chair? <laughs> Bill says, no, he guess not. <laughs> no, he did. I don't think he did see the chair. Like, oh, no. <laughs> the chair's right there. He's a fucking idiot, then, isn't he? <laughs> uh, for some reason, Fink then gets back into the ring right beside Curtis Hughes and starts <laughs> clapping after he just put a chair there for Jared to hit him in the head with it. And you would think that would mean Curtis Hughes would kick his ass, right? No, but it no. doesn't happen like that. <laughs> it's... This is like, I actually don't know what they were thinking with this. I don't know if this comes back around and Curtis Hughes actually does fuck over Jericho some more, but Jericho pretty much cuts a promo here, shitting on Curtis Hughes, calls him baby Hughesy. <laughs> fuck you, Curtis Hughes! <laughs> yeah, dude, he's fucking, a, he, said this, he said, I embarrass you, he said, you're a fucking loser, and let's, but I'm going to give you a farewell gift, because you're a bona fide loser in the game of life, I'm going to give you a bona fide loser as a consolation prize that's almost worth as much as a stack of encyclopedias, okay? I'm going to give you Harold Finkel. <laughs> and you would think, being insulted, losing to a fucking chair shot to the head, then being insulted, Curtis Hughes would just fucking kick Howard Finkel's ass here. But no, Curtis Hughes grabs Fink, and he's very happy. <laughs> he's yeah, he's cool with it. He's super happy. He's like, oh, great. That's cool. I got Fink. And Jericho is continuing to talk shit. He says, yeah, man, if there was ever two idiots that would be perfect for each other, it's you two idiots. And Curtis Hughes nods his head. Yeah, that's fucking right. <laughs> yeah, that's good. Oh, yeah, that's cool. <laughs> he said, I'm sure you'll form a connection of ever ebony and ivory, motherfuckers. <laughs> I hate both of you Ebony and Ivory motherfuckers I tell you <laughs> And then the, Curtis Hughes and fucking Fink just leave together Like Fink's not happy but Curtis Hughes is super happy about it I should have you cracking up I, was like, oh, I, I, could, I thought of that immediately <laughs> Ebony and Ivory I hate both of you I tell you <laughs> <laughs> that's the good man what a good movie that is man. that's awesome yeah you always see that shit i think it's on netflix it is on netflix yeah that's cool man so we go to a pre-tape jr is sitting down with the big show who is crying the first of many times this happens um yes you're right big show's dad apparently has been diagnosed with terminal cancer and doesn't have a lot of time left yeah man they just do a full like big show's minute. dad's been dead for a while now yeah his shoot dad is like dead <laughs> so like it's not it's not real, but it's still like a four minute big show crying and like talking about how he's a failure at life and he just wants to show his dad that he can not be a loser and it's, it's fucked up. It's the only exciting. thing they could come up with with a seven foot tall fire and pound giant was to make him cry. Repeatedly. That's how you turn him face. This is how you turn him face <laughs> to make him he cry. He just like choke slam Triple H to hell. Big boss man could have came out and said, fuck you, big show. And he comes out and grabs him by the neck and then choke slams him. Like, no, that could turn him face. Big show was obviously missing some layers here. He like, I think, beat. like this, like, you know, peeling it back and getting someone to the, to get, like, uh, you know, emotional is a good way to turn him face, but maybe not for the seven foot tall. 500 yeah. pound his name is the big show first name big <laughs> last name show <laughs> <laughs> so we go backstage terry taylor is talking to uh the big show or i'm sorry the big boss man in the parking lot uh big <laughs> boss man's not crying <laughs> <laughs> big show man is my dad <laughs> man show i watched that after oh yeah that's not a bad show <laughs> big boss man ziggy zuggy ziggy zuggy oi 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 big boss man says big show <laughs> Big Show's got personal problems. I got problems too. Like, who booked this match tonight? <laughs> who that booked is, this shitty show? Dude, that, dude, that is fucking crazy. Big Show got personal That's problems. Crazy I don't shit. care about them either. I got problems of my own. I got a problem who booked this match. <laughs> you see, he's trying to set me up tonight. Yeah. Best thing I can do is go out there, kick some ass, and win the hardcore title. Yeah, this is my face right here. This is the big yeah, face. This is the face right here. <laughs> big Bubba. <laughs> Come on with it. <laughs> so we go to a pre-tape. Mark Henry is in his third sex <laughs> therapy session. <laughs> this is fucking crazy, man. Yeah, man. This is, this is <laughs> fucking nuts. Third fucking sex therapy thing. And Mark Henry's talking about it. He says, hey, man, the first therapist I had was so hot. Hot. And then the second one, man, you know, walking in the door. I know she couldn't help me because all I thought about was sex. Mark Henry the is fucking I the therapist. Saw... <laughs> yeah, he goes, he's running through therapists. He said, so I knew I had to get a male therapist because they, you know, they just couldn't help me, man. All I thought about was them. And the little therapist here says, Mark, I've studied your case and I think I can help you. And he reaches over and touches him, Mark Henry. And Mark Henry looks and he says, now, wait a minute. What would you say? Say that again. And the therapist says, 
Mark, I, you know, I, I think I can help you. And again, gently brushes Mark Henry. Mark Henry sits up and he says, Nah, man, you're gonna need some help. <laughs> <laughs> you can't help oh, me at all. Hell no. Oh, hell no. <laughs> you can't help me at all, bro. And the best fucking part here, Mark Henry stands up and walks away, and the therapist, very concerned, looking at him leaving, says, Chocolate! Come on, <laughs> come on, sexual! Sexual, come back! Come <laughs> Please! Se come back, sexual, sexual, come back! <laughs> Dude, we talked about chocolate. this on the show. Them, chocolate sexual. Them dropping the name Mark Henry and only calling him sexual chocolate as his first and last name is like the best part of this gimmick, I think. Big show, sexual <laughs> chocolate. 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 Mr. Chocolate. Ass. Mr. Chocolate. <laughs> but sexual. <laughs> Sexual. sexual, come on, sexual's first name. Sexual, come back. <laughs> You're not on a first name basis with me, buddy. I think he's in. Is he? Is it SmackDown one or two? I think legit his nameplate is like sexual chocolate. They drop Mark here. Yeah, he's just sexual so, chocolate. It is well, sexual same chocolate. With Mr. Yeah. S. He didn't have a yeah, first he name. Mr. S. <laughs> S. <laughs> Mr. S. Mr. S. <laughs> Mr. 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 S. Chocolate is my dad. <laughs> Yeah, man, that's fun. Sexual. <laughs> Cra crazy fucking segment here, man. Sexual. Sexual, come back. Chocolate. Come back, sexual. Chocolate. Come back. <laughs> but sexual. <laughs> come back, sexual, please. Yeah, no, this is crazy. They don't even know what's going on on commentary. They, like, they have Big Show crying, and it goes to backstage, and they go, oh, they got, oh, okay, Big Boss Man. And, yes. and it goes to Mark Henry's third sex therapy session. They go, oh, all right. <laughs> So we got a big boss man versus Al Snow with the hardcore <laughs> tie on the line. Big um, show too, right? Yeah. Well, we don't know that when it starts. It, it, they tell us on commentary. This is a triple threat, apparently. Uh, big think, show is not here yet. That, I think they said that in the boss man promo that he has, he's in a hardcore match with, against two men he has personal issues with. So I think he did know, but big show is late for some reason. <laughs> yeah. Well, it's because he had to fucking wipe all the Paul. tears. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I <are you> like. <laughs> Don't let them fuck you like they fucked me. <laughs> so uh, Al Snow pulls a bunch of shit out here. It's a hardcore title match, by the way. Al Snow yeah. pulls a bunch of shit out here. Big boss man hits him in the head with a cookie sheet, which Wait. activates <laughs> the well button. <laughs> It's like uh, a cutscene trigger. Yeah. It's like QTE. You hit Al Snow in the head with something. You activate Big Show. So Big Show comes to the ring, throws the fucking taunt up right in front of Big Show, like or right in front of Boss Man. So Big Show comes to the ring and immediately goes, oh! <laughs> I Should stop for taunt, yeah. Uh, Boss Man throws a punch. Big Show grabs it and starts kicking his fucking ass. Headbutts him. He's throwing him around the ring by his vest. <laughs> Big Show then goes to the outside and choke slams Al Snow through a table, crunches that bitch too, and then Boss Man jumps off the apron and hits Big Show in the head with a fucking nightstick. I guess it busted him open. Did it? Yeah, so Boss Man oh, rolls yeah, him dude. over. It takes a second to get his big ass over. But then he pins him <laughs> and it shows him and his head's bleeding. Oh my god, well, you know, I got fucking who booked this shit? <laughs> so he's that hardcore champ? He doesn't even grab the title, I don't think. Oh yeah, did he? He's did left. He, <laughs> he won the title, yeah, new champ. Yeah, it new was champ, for the hardcore but... title? Yeah, yeah it, was. it was. What the fuck? Okay, I'm gonna... Just check, uh, make sure here, uh, you know, by the history yeah, yeah, books here. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Uh, we're at 99. There's a lot of fucking title changes here, boys. Uh, we're in October. Oh, no, yeah, Big Boss Man. Yeah. Yeah, he just and doesn't then, grab the title when he leaves. He just leaves without it. Boss Man holds this title until January, and he, he loses the test. Well, it's my gimmick, you know? I'm not supposed to like the title. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, of course. Fuck this fucking stupid title. I don't like this shit. Why would you like it? The show called Steve Austin <laughs> has arrived at the arena. 41 well, minutes. call time. This Tony, call 41 time. minutes into the show, you arrived. Fuck here. You. Yeah, that's exact call time. He's on time. <laughs> fucking Steve. Steve Williams. <laughs> fuck you. Steve. <laughs> I'm Steve. <laughs> so on a pre-tape, apparently during the break, China comes through a door falling to her fucking knees asking for Help. Help. And Dave Hebner and Jim Corderas are there, and they go look for people to help her. They can't help her. We ain't got nothing to help you with. I'll, I'll get somebody <laughs> yeah, that can help you. What do you want, man? <laughs> yeah, just to help me. You can't breathe. Somebody get him help. We're going to lose him. Triple H is dying, and Dave Hebner says, oh, what the fuck? <laughs> what do you want me to do? So we have Val Venus versus Stevie Richards up next. <laughs> Val Venus cuts a That's promo. Uh, I'm sure one of you heard it. I didn't write that. Yeah, I got it here, brother. Of course I got it here for you. Well, you know something? As the big Val Boski struts and strolls and gyrates his way to no mercy, there's only one thing on his mind, and that is absolute victory. It's too good of an impression. It is too good. <laughs> I told you. You got to stop doing it. 
uh, pretty much he says uh, uh, that he was the one that pulled the uh, Rocco out from the garbage can, pulled him up, rolled Rocco up, and put him ever so close to the promised land. And since that day, Rocco has been in places that the real Rock could only dream of. And in Mankind, at no mercy, once you again receive the privilege of climbing into the same ring as the big Valboski, you'll realize why I am the single fastest up-and-coming oh, athlete in the again. history of the WWF. Shut the fuck up! <laughs> Uh, so Stevie Richards comes out with the Dude Love song and Dude outfit. Love. Um, breaking news on commentary recorded in post and added in. Oh, the, yeah, you're right. The EMTs are helping China. <laughs> China's not the one injured, but they're helping China. <laughs> uh, yeah, so Val Venus has a blue thunder bomb and a money shot and he wins. Dude, he Stevie had him in like a sleeper and Val reversed a sleeper hold into a blue thunder bomb. I was like, what the fuck is going on? And then money shots him. Yeah, that's not the uh, that's not the thing we're here to talk about, is it? The blue thunder. Yeah. Bomb. So Triple H being uh, backstage. <laughs> no, 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 no. Uh, no, 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 Stone Cold Stunner. Yes, or it's you know, like a yeah. career changing moment that you have a move that's going to like ascend you to the top here. I mean, and he's already the single fastest. Get out of my company! Oh, oh, sorry, sorry. So he, the single fastest coming superstar. <laughs> so Val Venus beats Stevie Richards and then he reaches down and he pulls out Mr. Rocco, which for those that don't know is Mr. Socko with the rock's face on it. It's very funny. Is it? It's. I like that a lot. Come on, it I is like funny Mr. to you. Come on, you don't like Mr. Rocco? Come on, bro. You bought the figures. It was good. It was good. I did not <laughs> buy the, the Mr. Rocco figure. It's, it's worth it. But I have not <laughs> opened it, it yet. <laughs> well, that's out of character for you. First of all, second of all, Mr. Rocco was good. Uh, so he pulls up Mr. Rocco, loads it up, and he does not do it uh, how you would think he would. He does not mandible claw Stevie Richards. No, he does something even more treacherous. He grabs Stevie Richards' cock and balls, and he has him in a groin grip. And Michael Cole on commentary is freaking out. Like, they're, they're not laughing or, like, making fun of Stevie. They're like, oh, my God, like, oh my, this could happen to mankind and no mercy. <laughs> Why do they say that? <laughs> Why do they say that? That could happen to mankind and say no mercy. Dude, what? <laughs> Val Venus is standing over Stevie Richards, who is now writhing in pain on the floor, squeezing the shit out of his dick and balls. And Michael says, oh, my God, what does this mean for no mercy? Mankind is a... <laughs> Fucking, he's been the champion. <laughs> They're putting this move over like it's the ankle lock or some shit. Yes. Yeah, gonna, it's unbelievable. Break his balls. Oh my god, Mr. Rocco! Ah! <laughs> he's got his balls. <laughs> dude, he fucking grabs his cock and balls and twists it, dude. Unrelenting strength, like that shit. He really yeah. went in there on them things and like grabbed that he shit did. crazy. I would have been like, "What the fuck, man? Lighten up, <laughs> Ali." Dude, that was the thing. I mean, listen, we'll, we'll have to check out that uh, Val Venus Mankind match. Can you write that down for uh, Watch This, Tony? I know James is a Yeah, I got it. I got it. Right, thank you so down. much. I appreciate it. If I put in, like, if I'm going to be sick in, like, three weeks, <laughs> I was going to write that. Well, write that know, in beside I'll, it. I'll save it for you there, and that's fine. It's no big deal. Didn't we just watch a Val Venus Mankind main event on Raw? We can't get away from it, man. Was it Mankind? Yeah, maybe it was. Yeah. Well, you know, we're in the Val Venus era here. In a single fan. Sure. Up and down. I want to see that. I want to see the road that took him the wrong way. Like, there's got to be some career moment that just fucking... Because he was, they pushed him. And he met Vince Russo. They went off the rail. <laughs> what? He met Vince, Vince Russo. Leaves. <laughs> oh, yeah. Before that. <laughs> that Vince Russo left. Yeah. <laughs> they said, fuck this fucking guy. They quickly found out that he sucks. <laughs> so, Triple H is being taken out on a gurney and being put into an ooh, ambulance ooh. backstage. <laughs> <laughs> He's convulsing. If you guys do this, but uh, yeah, right before the Stevie Richards cock and balls got grabbed crazy. Anyways, Triple H just being put into an ambulance. Hey, that was a real serious moment. This could happen to mankind and no mercy. That's a pay for you, dude. Yeah, please think of mankind. Big Show's dad's dying, and but Mark Henry's horny. And what could happen to mankind and no mercy? That's not Mark Henry. That's sexual, Mister. Mr. Yeah, Mr. come on, that's Mister Sexual, Mister Chocolate, Chocolate, if you will. <laughs> My father's Mister Chocolate. Please, <laughs> yeah. Triple H is on a stretcher, convulsing, yeah, spitting up cum. <laughs> <laughs> oh. 
<laughs> I had a different view of this. Hey, or come to you. Yeah, Dude, you. what happens to me? <laughs> that's, that's me at the bar when the bartender gives me a drink with too much head. <laughs> 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 He starts spinning it up. <laughs> Nasty ass drink. And then, yeah, they load him up in the ambulance and they take him away and they start playing Scott Steiner's theme. <laughs> Woo! So the British Bulldog That's has... Scott Steiner's theme. Woo! <laughs> 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 it was a very... It was an impulse game. It's a dumb thing. 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 <laughs> Tony, you gotta do it, man. Come on, you know you're good at it. I ain't too late, man. Woo! Go, 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 go. Hell yeah, yeah bro. That's Johnny Misty. He was yeah, good. And then they slowed yeah. it down when she turned the heel. <laughs> well, what was that one like, Tony? <laughs> I ain't the lady to mess with. Whoop. Yeah. Whoop. Whoop. <laughs> the British Bulldog Town Hall is up next. Uh, Bulldog is out here in his best car outfit. Well, he's James. He's in his WWE Attitude tank top and very dry jeans. Always dry jeans. Yeah, I don't think so, Always. buddy. Fuck you. Always. <laughs> Bulldog comes out here. He says, well, at least I'm not being taken out on a no. gurney. <laughs> thought about that. You could not talk. It is crazy. You know what? I can't and won't and don't care about anybody. (laughs) I can't, won't, don't care about anyone. All I care about is a WWF (laughs) toil. That's it. (laughs) And Triple H is too sick to defend a toil. Then I will take it from whoever. Rock, if you think you can slam me in a pile of dog crap (laughs) and get away with it, we'll come to Sunday at no mercy. I'm gonna knock the Brahma bull crap out of you oh and get one God. step closer to my title. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit. Dude, this is right after the dog poop. Into the dog poop. Into the dog poop. <laughs> <laughs> what well, a legendary. At least. <laughs> Yeah, wow. And they had him come out on the stage and go, I, who cares if I got rock bottom into dog crap? <laughs> yeah. Us, we care. You, you remember that? <laughs> yeah, we do. Yeah, you ain't seen that maps, did you? So we go uh, pre-tape. Terry Reynolds is getting pictures taken with money on her titties. Dude, naked as fuck. Titties out, money out. Fuck yeah, man. This is the dream. <laughs> you see the money. You see the titties. <laughs> 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 yeah, this is uh, to hype up the Terry Invitational Tournament. The tit. Ah! <laughs> what a great idea. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so it cuts to Edge and Christian. They're all watching this backstage on this little Jerk TV. <laughs> this is awesome. What the fuck? Does that work? <laughs> it's cool. um, and then the brood attacked them from behind. The new brood. Oh, my God. How could they? How could they do this? The WWF Boot of the Week brought to you by Lugs. Mm, Jeff Jarrett hits China in the head with a toaster. <laughs> <laughs> and then throws her in a dirty clothes hamper and then takes it all the way to the parking lot and throws her off a ramp. <laughs> and then she's, then she's covered in blood. She fucking died. Dude, yeah, there's man. a bunch that's of blood. Insane. There's Muda scale blood, dude. Dude, it's Petey Williams getting thrown off a ladder amount of blood. RBD <laughs> backstage with a bat in his fucking bat. Two by four with nails. Dude, they replay the toaster shot like three, four times. It made me laugh every time. What a fucking crazy thing to hit somebody with, man. What is that? A dirty clothes hamper? <laughs> <laughs> it throws her dude, off a loading this, dock. She dies. Holy shit. Dude, she's here on the SmackDown with Triple H just like normal. Well, she's, she's there's yeah. two different Chinas we talked about. There's heel China with Triple H and then there's normal China against Jeff Jarrett. Oh, so the, dumps, the dumpster. That's face China. China not the dumpster. Yeah. Oh, whatever happens with Jeff Jarrett, yeah, that's way different than whatever happens with Triple yeah. H. <laughs> oh, so that bloody one somewhere yeah. else is kind of different. Yeah, they never <laughs> even stitched her up, Tony. <laughs> <laughs> so Jeff Jarrett Town Hall's up next. Miss Kitty! <laughs> Listen up, Jurassic <laughs> slap asses. I wish. Golly. I want to fuck her. <laughs> she looks really good. Oh my God, look at her ass. <laughs> so the ring is filled up with a bunch of irons and mops and kitchen appliances and also a guitar. <laughs> Which is also, if you're in Jeff Jarrett's fucking house, that's where the guitar goes. So Jeff Jarrett starts talking, and as he's cutting this promo, Lawler randomly in the middle. Jarrett is still talking here. And he goes, here, kitty, 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 kitty. Here, kitty, kitty, kitty. Yeah. Jarrett is still talking. <laughs> this was right after they, like, zoomed in on her ass, <laughs> too. Yeah. Oh, here, kitty, kitty, kitty. So Jarrett starts introducing all these items in the ring as Kitty poses with them. This is, uh... This is unbelievably was not over here. The crowd was fucking. This was so no awkward. Way, no Jared's way. naming appliances and they, I mean, what you know? How could he get this over here? He's yeah. Here's a here's a fucking sink. <laughs> here's an ironing <laughs> board. You like that? A mop. Here's, 
<laughs> yeah, you got a frying pan here. You know what those are about, you know, and I got an oven here and coffee pot. You a guys drying like this. pan, if you will. Oh, yeah. You know, in Sunday, China, you got, you know, you're going to get a coffee break, all right, but it's not going to be your typical 15-minute one. Oh, we got some brooms here. We'll use them later. <laughs> we got ring. some brooms here. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> <I was> dug <laughs> up. <laughs> and, of course, my own personal guitar, and everyone knows the tune Jeff Jarrett plays and China, I'm bringing everything but the kitchen sink. And come Sunday, that's exactly what I'm going to bring to prove I'm the greatest inter college champion of all time. But more importantly, that men are dominant and women are weak species. Anyway, right. here comes Deborah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Deborah's back. It's puppies! puppies! Puppies time, King! <laughs> Dude, Michael Cole says that. He says, it's puppies time. It's puppies, Deborah. What the fuck? <laughs> Mrs. Puppies. So, <laughs> that's my mom. <laughs> <laughs> so Deborah tells Jarrett that there will be a new Intercontinental Champion, No Mercy, and it will be a woman. Damn it. I, I hear you. Damn it, damn, damn. <laughs> Just leaves. All right. And then cool, Michael man. Cole, uh, the lowest voice I've ever heard anyone say this before. <laughs> Whoa, puppies. <laughs> <laughs> he does say that. He does. Whoa, he puppies. With, he wanted to fit in with the boys. <laughs> <laughs> I would say puppies this week, damn it. <laughs> yeah, Jarrett, then Deborah blows him a kiss and leaves, and Jarrett chases after her with a guitar. <laughs> <laughs> he's just he's just saying just stay out of my damn business. Yeah, I'm gonna deal with this shit. So we go backstage. Kevin Kelly is with Stone Cold Steve Austin, and he asks if uh, he feels bad about Triple H's rattlesnake bite. Stone Cold's very somber. He's badly. If I you know if I had, if it had been anybody else, I might feel a little bad. But the fact that the hell is that some bitch put me through. You know I don't feel sorry one bit. What surprised me is that that damn rattlesnake didn't end up dying. And as far as that rattlesnake <laughs> goes, how did I know some bitch was gonna bite him? <laughs> What? Yeah, it's his fault. I was just yeah. in the bathroom. I don't know. Yeah. Yeah. Rational guy took a big ass dump there, Sean. I just didn't know what was going on. You know, if he wants me to drive down to the damn hospital, get the damn belt, that's fine, son. I'll do what I'll got to do. Make no mistake, when I roll in No Mercy, I'll be the WWF champion. And at that event, I'll become WWF champion. That's all I got to say about that. Yeah, I mean, I hear that. strong argument, man. I don't know. Yeah, how, how did he know the Rattlesnake was going to bite Triple H? I mean, why was Triple H laying on the floor next to him? <laughs> Why did Triple H have a rattlesnake in the bathroom? Yeah, man, really? What are you doing there, you sick I freak? I put a glass up there in front of the wall. <laughs> yeah, Sean, I, I tried to protect him. The <laughs> <laughs> glass shattered there, Sean. I, I, I put it on the board. If you came at call time, you would have seen there's a rattlesnake in the bathroom. Don't, don't go over there. talk about that. <laughs> Steve. Oh. So WWF No Mercy is brought to you by Legacy of Kane Soul Reaver. What? <laughs> What was that? What is that, that my name now? <laughs> no, I never played that one. I, I fucking, that one. I may Reaver. have like rented that one time, but I have no recollection of it at all. Oh, I remember the picture of the fucking dude with the eyes. Yeah, it's, it's probably really on the front of a magazine that I fucking was reading at the grocery store or something once. Game Pro magazine <laughs> yeah. or some shit. It had the yeah. demo disc. I just, you know, steal I it. I would not. Well, yeah, you remember this dude? I you think. remember this guy here? <laughs> this picture. I, I would take it with the intention of bringing it back, but then I wouldn't. Because I forget. <laughs> yeah, so does. <laughs> Uh, so yeah, this is the video game No Mercy logo, which is pretty cool. It is fucking cool, yeah, yeah. And this is a match I probably did in that game a bunch of times. Edge Christian against the Hardys. Yeah, so uh, they come out, the the Brood comes out here, and they come out to the Hardy Boys song, but with the Brood entrance. Yeah, and on right side Ovaltron. This just feels weird on SmackDown. I don't oh, know. I always right. associate the Brood entrance with Raw. I don't know why. Oh yeah, yeah. You're right. uh, this is a Terry Runnels Invitational Tournament match. <laughs> uh, <laughs> You like that? You like that, motherfucker? Um, so yeah, whoever wins this tournament gets $100,000 and Terry Runnels as a manager. That's fucking awesome, man. UFC 1 only was for $50,000. <laughs> and crazy. you had to get beat up by a bunch of racists. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, we start the match here. Christian gives Jeff a gut buster and uh, dude literally bounces off his knee. It was really cool looking. Yeah, that was fucking cool. They had a bunch of cool. Like Jeff goes for a monkey flip. Edge lands on his feet. Edge back body drops Jeff. Jeff lands on his feet. Jeff goes for a wheelbarrow. Ed just fucking plants him. Yeah, this is like a nowadays tag. It's pretty good. Yeah, dude, Christian invents the three amigos. <laughs> it's insane. Yeah, uh, Matt tries to powerbomb Christian off the apron. He runs him out. Um, that was dope. Yeah, that was very cool. And then Jeff tries to jump off the barricade with the clothesline <laughs> and just misses completely. I don't know how he missed, actually. I feel like it was, Christian I definitely was did it on purpose. He just backed up. <laughs> <laughs> stupid. Then Gangrel throws Christian in the stairs because Gangrel, of course, the leader of the new brood. Uh, throws Christian in the stairs. The ref's distracted by Edge. The Hardys then hit a double fuckbuster on Christian and send him to hell. That was awesome. Yeah, this whole finishing stretch is actually really good. 
Yeah, it's dope. I mean, I'm not surprised. I guess these guys get a little time to uh, fight <laughs> each other, you know? Yeah, they're probably going to fight each other next week. <laughs> <laughs> um, Chris has a reverse DDT. Two hot tags in here. Edge and Jeff are in. Edge, German suplex bridge. You don't really see him do that that often. No. Yeah, you're right. Um, he hits the edge of Matic on Matt and then the spear on Jeff. Uh, and then Matt throws him into the post for a two count. And then the finish was a little interesting. I think yes. they went a little too far backwards. I understand what they were going for, but when you look at it, it doesn't fucking make any sense as to why anyone would have been confused here. Yeah, so the Hardys go for a doomsday device, but it somehow <laughs> gets turned into a double pin. Yeah, so Jeff like uh, jumps off the top for the doomsday. Christian ducks, and then victory rolls Matt, and then Jeff lands on edge, uh, and they both double pin. But and so like everyone's confused, like who wins? Well, guys, the fucking two guys that were legal, <laughs> Jeff was legal and Edge was legal, and Jeff pinned Edge. This is very easy to fucking come to a conclusion of here. Uh, yeah, so uh, Teddy Long says the brood won. Yes, and they did. He is goddamn right. There's no fucking controversy here. <laughs> they fucking there won is none, fair and yeah. square. And uh, but I don't. I think it's a best of five series for the tit. Yeah, so it's two to two yes. now. Oh, oh, up. and it, no mercy's the final, isn't it? Okay. Yeah, well, they played the brood cool. music this time, so that was nice. That's yeah, that's wow. Uh, New Age Outlaws are backstage as Billy Gunn is doing some upside down handstands on the wall. <laughs> Billy uh, Ro <laughs> Road Dog is doing uh, what he does best: talking. <laughs> yeah, you're right. Uh, we get a GTV segment GTV. Uh, where Steph meets with Bulldog at some Italian restaurant, I guess, or some shit. <laughs> This is not just backstage. <laughs> I don't know where this is at. Oh, it's an empty restaurant. Nobody was in there. It's just them two. This restaurant sucks. Tony Soprano's going to get Business shot is here. Down. <laughs> this is down crazy, Tony. Got to leave. Uh, <laughs> Steph says that she has seen the tape uh, and no. doesn't think Bulldog is to blame for her uh, fall and amnesia. Well, she calls him Davy, and he says, It's not Davy, it's David. It's Steve. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, it's not. She said, okay, David. <laughs> yeah, fuck you. Yeah, Ste so Stephanie says, listen, I don't know what my, my dad and my brother and Andrew, Andrew the Tesla Martin the Punisher, are gonna do, but they're upset. And I don't know, you know, before anyone else gets hurt, I wanted to see if I could persuade you to publicly apologize. And he fucking snaps. David snaps here. He's apologize. Stephanie, I'm sick of apologizing. This has been a waste of my time. And Slawler says, Whoa, can you believe that? And Michael Cole says, Did the bulldog just bury himself? <laughs> yeah, that was crazy. <laughs> yes, he did. Yeah, he probably didn't show up on time. <laughs> did he bury himself? What the fuck? So we go to the Godfather versus Midian. <laughs> there is something that happens in this match that I... It took me back to an old review that we did, and I could not believe that I saw it again. We'll get there in a minute, but I just want you to know that I'm it, excited. Rocked my fucking, okay. it rocked my fucking world. I, I, I can't wait to talk about it. So Godfather's with the hoes. Midian is with Viscera. Um, <laughs> Godfather's Damn. hoes, the hoe in the white top, legendary hoe. That's true. Uh, that's true. Been a hoe on this show before, yes. I'll tell you that much, right? That's true. That's true. Uh, now tell me why the <laughs> Fuck, Midian and Viscera came out like a literal Nintendo 64 video game entrance. They Dude, came out and went at a 90 degree angle. And did their taunts at the same time and all? Yeah, yeah. this is crazy, man. It's legit I, WrestleMania 2000 this entrance. Is it's unbelievable. Up, dude, yeah. yeah. And then the camera they use shows them turning like legit, like J R O T C S <laughs> turn, 90 degree That's, angle. Well, Godfather offers, of course, Midian a hoe. He says, oh, You got some little sexual tension you need to release. And listen, you know the deal. You can either fight me. And you know I'm going to kick your ass. <laughs> or you can choose any one of these fine hoes for the whole night. And Viscera delegates with Midian, and Midian takes the mic, and the crowd's chanting, take the hoes. And Midian says, shut up. <laughs> Dude, Midian was kidnapped and taken to the hell room to die. <laughs> Why would he want a hose? <laughs> Sacrifice, dude. <laughs> that open. Yeah, what the fuck would he want a hose for? <laughs> this shit don't work anymore. <laughs> Midian says, first of all, dumbass. <laughs> I don't do hose. But you got any farm animals? <laughs> and everyone's like, what the fuck? <laughs> he said, don't look at me like that. I'm, I'm not a freak. They're not alive. And Godfather says, man, what are you, dumb, some type of sicko? And he punches him in the face. <laughs> Holy shit, man. This is like from a different realm. This is the yeah. most fucked up match of all time, man. You got this any farm is animals? inspired, dude. Is it? <laughs> this is like, this has, yeah, how the fuck else do you write this? Like, this is inspired booking where someone goes, Midian should go in there and say that he likes to fuck farm animals when Godfather <laughs> offers him a hoe. <laughs> they, fight. they fight over this? Uh, yeah, so um, Viscera on the outside here. Godfather gets sent to the outside and Viscera 
picks up Godfather on the outside. I've never seen anything like this in my life, man. Runs <laughs> into the post as slow as humanly possible. <laughs> well, it's and Godfather mouth agape the whole time as he's slowly walking oh. over to the post. <laughs> it's funny, man. Well, right after that, James, this, you, I'm sure, you, I, you probably tried to erase it, but Midian did this same move to Godfather here that he did to Triple H on the Triple H 5 fucking challenge episode. The pump handle flip, knee drop. Knee drop, yeah. because, it, yeah. <laughs> because I swore when he fucking did it against Triple H, it was an accident, and it was like a fuck up. This is a Midian move. This is a move, man. This is the farm fucker knee drop. <laughs> <laughs> fucking pump handle flip knee drop. This is unfucking believable. I was blown away that he did this. This First is of all, dumbass, it's one of my moves. <laughs> <laughs> Second of all, you got any farm animals? He does this move. What he stuff like a fucking sicko? <laughs> <laughs> he yeah. throws that in the back. What is fucking wrong with you? <laughs> Dude, this move looks so fucked up, man. It's crazy. Uh, does it make it to any games? I, I actually don't know. There's no way to fucking mocap this. I'm sure none of my cars had it, I'll tell you that much. <laughs> Mine will from now on in the 2K tournament. Oh, yeah. Well, yeah, well, yeah it's got to, right? Your character's Midian. <laughs> don't fucking know. Oh, sorry, 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 sorry. Farm Animal Jones. <laughs> Dumbass. Sorry, I totally forgot. Yeah, AKA forgot. Steve. Yeah. Mine was sexual first name. <laughs> Last name C. Dot. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, yeah, C-Dot. Godfather goes for the hoe train. Uh, Visser distracts him. Um, Godfather gets Midian up for the pimp drop. It must have been um, the first time they called it that because Lawler was like, "What?" The-? Cole was like, "Oh, it's the pimp drop, the pimp drop." And Lawler said, "The what?" <laughs> the Dude, pimp he drop. fucking spikes him with that shit he, too. Because he, well, he's a sick bastard. He deserves to get dropped on his fucking head for this. Yeah, well, he does fucking drill awesome. him. He does drill him. Yeah. Um, he goes for the pin on Midian, but Visera tries to break it up, but. The hose hold oh Viscera's foot so he can't get in the ring. That's why. That's the other fucking realist out there, man. God damn. Bless the hose. <laughs> that's called standing on business. That's, you know, you got to stick up for your man. That's awesome, man. I, I respect that a ton. And uh, Well, it doesn't work out for Godfather after that, though. Maybe they should have just let him break Yeah, but he up. won. You know? Yeah, but then he, he gets fucking leg drop, belly to belly splash. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, that is kind of fucked up that Midian and Viscera would leave the man lying in front of his hose. Fuck you, man. Yeah, man, it's like a crime scene, dude. Fuck up, the hose are just looking on as Godfather's just laying there. <laughs> <laughs> Why don't they come that, save him, That really? does something to a pimp, man. You can't lay him out <laughs> yeah. like that. I, you, know? you lose respect. Yeah, you, you can't, can't, can't lay out, man. The hose lose respect for you, man. Anything you can't but that. You can't Yeah, this is fucked up, man. So uh, The Rock is walking and talking backstage, baby. Yeah, of course. And uh, apparently Triple H is on the way back to the arena. That is fucking insane. <laughs> he was just he was... dying on the gurney. <laughs> well, 1999 doctors discharged you no matter what. <laughs> they just want you to get the fuck out of here. And they were smoking while they gave you their fucking diagnosis. You're right. <laughs> we have the 1-800-collect smack of the night. Ah. Which you would think would be a smack? <laughs> It is no. not. It is Triple it's H's promo <laughs> from earlier. Yeah, he talks. Yeah, maybe smack talk of the night. Maybe that's what they were going for. Why which they... it also wasn't that either. Yeah, they I could guess. just call it the one hundred collect bite of the night or something. Yeah. Well, fuck you. The corn nut sandwich bite of the night. <laughs> <laughs> the hockey <laughs> way. <laughs> we got the uh, the main event of the evening, which is uh, the New Age Outlaws versus the Rock and Sock Connection for the WWF tag, titles. tag team titles. Yeah, man, this is uh, the last Rock and Sock match ever. No, nah. ever. <laughs> or oh, is it? Oh, maybe not, bro. Oh, maybe not, dude. So mankind comes out. He does a little promo about this being the last match ever, and uh, ends it with a little <laughs> phrase for everybody: "Take it home with you." Pride never dies. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and he was right. Yeah, hey, hey, my, my, rocket sock will never die. Which I'm, it doesn't, that never like catches on. It's not no, like Conte says, what the fuck was that? <laughs> yeah, fuck you. <laughs> fuck, <laughs> fuck you, man. Don't ever say that shit again. <laughs> it's pride never die, you fucking piece of shit. <laughs> You're all our big pride guy, Pancreas, too. So they start this one off. All four get in the ring and start slugging. The crowd is going nuts for this shit, dude. Have, have you seen how they break this up ever happen like this before? Where what? Where they? So so it's it's all four of them in the ring fucking fighting, and then Earl, so Earl Hebner loses oh, control. Two of the refs match. is what you're talking another, about. Another yeah, another ref comes out, breaks it up, and then just resets. I've never seen a match just reset like that. Commentary said that too. There's two refs. Yeah, yeah, what? <laughs> yeah. which I, I actually thought it was kind of cool. I was like, oh, that's fucking kind of an interesting. Well, match. if it's a main event I mean, title match, you know, having another yeah. ref out there probably makes sense. 
Yeah. Especially because it's a main event and someone's going to get bumped. And the match, yeah, you're well, and that, that does happen, but the ref is not out there. <laughs> he has to come back out again. <laughs> so Mankind goes for the shake, rattle, and roll. Uh, does his own little dance, but Road Dog just fucking <laughs> low blows him. Kicks him with the balls, and that's fine. Yeah, that's DQ. discretion. <laughs> yeah. Tony wants an ODQ here. Because it's a championship match, and uh, ah, stakes are must there, be a winner, know. I see. So Road Dog gets man. Who's reffing? What are you saying, Tony? Earl, Earl Hebner. Earl Hebner's a ref. Oh, of course. Yeah, of course. He would let the rules slide. I just if tried anyone's going to let the rules slide, Tony, it's fucking <laughs> Earl. I tried to ask him about it on Twitter, and it didn't go well. <laughs> well what do you do to you, Tony? Tell the people. What do you, yeah, what did he say to you? <laughs> he said, I am the great one or something like that. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you, Tony. I am the great one. <laughs> try, let me see if I can find it. So Earl Hebner, at Tony Pizza Guy. I'm going to retweet it right now. The great one will always have a job. You wish you could be me. Not a chance. Keep watching the great one. <laughs> Get fucked. Get fucked, it's man. DNA yeah, now, buddy. <laughs> so I do not wish I could be Earl Hebner. Uh, just to clarify, I, I do not want to be Earl Hebner. Really? Dude, he was getting blowjays on the fucking <laughs> back burner, bro. He had him lined up. Yeah, man. Yeah. Oh, okay. 2024, right. idiot. Like that. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> not for real. 2014. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot about that. Your mom an asshole. <laughs> yeah, that's he's the goat, really. Dude, you check it out on our YouTube, uh, by the way. We have a video oh, we do have going a video. over right. Earl Hebner's tweets. <laughs> that's an old video, but you should wow. check it out nonetheless. Oh my god, that is a video we did in yeah. it. Wow. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so Road Dog gets mankind in the uh, pump handle slam doggy style and starts fucking his ass and fucks him in the ass. Dude, he's got the ass jiggling. Whoa, big fella. Whoa. <laughs> Whoa, Nelly. Oh, dude, yeah. oh, he got that I, like that. Golly. That's pretty much how I wrote it, too. Yeah, R Road Dog loads up mankind and fucks his ass doggy style. <laughs> ass jiggling, dude. <laughs> And Rock breaks it up so he doesn't get hit with a pump handle. But all commentary can talk about is, oh, look at Mankind's underwear. He got striped underwear. It wasn't underwear. He was wearing a ref shirt. Why was he know? wearing a ref shirt? Oh, like, what the fuck? <laughs> I was like, Road I he's going to do something where he becomes the ref and counts the pin. No? Yeah, Road Dog fucked through his underwear. <laughs> got the ass jiggling. Doggy style pump handle slam. Uh, Billy Gunn hits a straight up pile driver on mankind. Dude, fucking no mercy leaping pile driver. <laughs> that was awesome. Did, uh, yeah, I don't know why. It reminded me for like a quick second of like how good Chris Hero's pile drivers were. Like oh, the snap, John. Yeah, especially yeah. on his Twilight run. Like he was dude. really throwing them in there. At that yeah, point. dude, that, those were fucking awesome. And then everyone else started doing it. Not as good. No, dude. There's something about the way he does. It. He makes it look like their heads fucking on the mat. Yeah, he, he, he kills them. Yeah, yeah, that was awesome. So the Rock gets the hot tag, starts punching everybody, hits the Rock bottom on Billy Gunn, then Road Dog breaks it up and chases Rock outside. Yes. Uh, Mankind hits the double underhook DDT, but Billy Gunn kicks out at two. Dude, 2.9 to 9. I was like, wow, that's it. But uh, crowd bit, I bit. Uh, but thankfully, really to put him away, Mr. Zonko! <laughs> oh, <my God>. <laughs> <laughs> he uses it on Road Dog who ran back in. Uh, Billy Gunn then pushes them into the ref and the ref gets bumped. No. no. Billy Gunn hits the famous, sir. No. But the Holly cousins are Wait here. Wait a second. What the f Yeah, Crash Holly runs in and hits Billy Gunn with a baseball bat, or he tries to, but he misses and hits <laughs> Mankind. <laughs> the fuck? <laughs> they bump Crash. Then Bob Holly gets in and hits Billy Gunn in the head with a tag title. Mankind is now somehow covering Billy Gunn. Did Bob Holly pull him onto him? Something happened there. Yeah, either yeah, rolled or I don't know him. him. Well, Rock and Sock win the fucking tag titles. Rock is not happy about that. Dude, Rock <laughs> is so pissed. Rock is on the outside, like, pacing because he's so angry that he has to fucking stay a tag team with Mankind now because of the tag champions. He's Rock gets in the ring holding the tag title and is arguing with Mankind about Mankind winning the match. It's a really <laughs> fun main event. Fun main event and tremendous angle, too. So we go backstage. Triple H has somehow made it back to the arena after being <laughs> on a gurney at the hospital in the ambulance, and he's back. You're telling me that a doctor, because China is helping, like ca practically carrying him through the arena. A doctor looked at him and said, get your fucking ass out of here, man. <laughs> Look at you with your face. <laughs> you ugly freak. We don't take freaks in here. Man. What are we, a fucking, a fucking petting zoo? Get the fuck out of here, bro. So China is carrying him into the locker room. And Stone Cold Steve Austin is in there. Yeah, which he's he's just been sitting there all night. No Austin promo out in front of the fans or anything. I thought they were going to, like, why didn't they do this in front of the crowd? Uh, yeah, I don't know. 
This doesn't make any don't. fucking sense. Yeah, I actually what? don't know. There must have been a reason, like uh, yeah. Triple H, uh, or so, like maybe Steve Austin didn't want to go out there, or Triple H didn't maybe. want to go out there. Or... Cause like, the crowd sees that Austin arrived, they saw him got interviewed, they don't get to see him in person? They just yeah. got to watch him on the Tron? That Damn, sucks. Damn, that is right. You're right. He didn't yeah. come out there at all. That sucks, bro. Yeah. He just killed the town, the brother. Match, maybe? Yeah, you're right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Bur- that, this is the last Birmingham package show ever. The Triple H tells Steve Austin, look at me. Take look at me. Look. Take a good look. It, this belt doesn't mean my life. It doesn't mean my life. You've won. And Austin says, I, I don't want to win it that way. <laughs> <laughs> Trolley says, you're going to get it that way. Here's a championship. Take it. <laughs> he's, he wants to give up the fucking title. But, uh, you know, Stone Cold doesn't want it. He doesn't want to look, look at this freak either. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's, it's real fucked up. And China's fucking telling Austin, you just take a look at it. Just hope look at ma- it. Hope you're happy. You look at it. Look at my man's face. <laughs> uh, and then Triple H fucking hits him with the title and assaults the shit out of him. <laughs> Fucking annihilates him with the title. And then in the locker room, it's just empty locker room. It's just China and Triple H stomping out Stone Cold. And then Triple H rips off the snake juice from his face and throws it at Austin. He's like, you think it's that easy? You think it's that that easy? I got a lot left in the day. (laughs) That's his ripping off the suit. It's ripping off snake juice from his fucking face. He throws Austin into a door, stomps him out. He's like, you stupid son of a bitch. This title means more to you. It's more to me than it mean, ever mean to you. And he spits on Austin, and they leave. And that's it. That's it. No mercy time. I can't for the life of me figure out why they didn't do this in front of the crowd. There's got to be a reason. Yeah, yeah, there's definitely probably a reason. So anyone, if anyone knows, let us know. Maybe you think this is maybe they like this wasn't actually taped here. <laughs> is that yeah? Maybe Austin wasn't even at the arena. Was and he was just like pre-taped, or maybe like uh, they were gonna do another snake thing, and then the snake didn't cooperate or something. <laughs> The snake Triple H should have thrown a snake. <laughs> should have a snake at Stone Cold. That would have been crazy and then leave. Fucking snake. <laughs> fucking kill you your boy, snake. Call Dude, Lake fucking... Holy shit, that's unbelievable. Or, or maybe what you said, Tony, maybe they filmed it all on Raw. That, that yeah, is a maybe good chance. Austin wasn't even there. It's, yeah, like, it's not he, like, you know, it's not like the crowd's going to know what the backstage area looks like. It's no different. Yeah. Yeah, you're right. Yeah. You're right. Yeah, I don't know. But yeah, so that was that. was uh, That was that. What a fucking uh, interesting go-home show. You find out at the very last minute, like, people could have tuned out by then that Triple H is actually fine and that he is wrestling at No Mercy for the title. Maybe that's uh, the power they Austin. held, dude. Is that, yeah, because uh, it didn't matter, right? The power they held here that like they knew they would keep that audience because they wanted to know if Triple H was going to be at No Mercy. Well, No Mercy 99 did a poor buy rate with 327,000 buys, which is the lowest of the any pay-per-view that year. <laughs> so it didn't work. <laughs> <laughs> His angle did not work. <laughs> Uh, uh, Everyone tuned out when they saw the snake they, face. They said, fuck, Triple H is going to be didn't watch there. this episode, Tony. They said, fuck <laughs> that shit. Like James said earlier, they said, fuck you, man. But yeah, there you go. That was WWF SmackDown for October 14th, 99, where Triple H got his face bit by a snake or not, brother. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and that is it for our show. 